everybody. Today in class we worked on finding solutions to make the equation true. So we're going to go ahead and work out these examples. I can see I'm looking at the value of f. It's 7 times the value of f equals 49. So the only thing that's going to make that equation true is if f is equal to 7. So that we have 7 times 7 equals 49. The next one is 1 is equal to r divided by 12. So you have to think, what does r have to be to make it true? Some number divided by 12 is 1. Well, the only number that would work would be 12. 12 divided by 12, or 12 over 12, is equal to one whole. The next one is 1 1.5 equals d plus 0 0.8. So we're working with decimals. If I ignored the decimals completely, I could just tell myself, all right, d plus 8 is 15. So I know, oh, it would be 7. But there are decimals there. So to keep make it equal, d would have to be 0 0.7. So to prove it, 1.5 is equal to 0 0.7 plus 0 0.8. And the next one, we have 9 squared equals h. Well, 9 squared means 9 times 9, which would mean that h has to be 81. So we can prove it again. 9 squared equals 9 times 9, which equals 81. And then finally, our very last one, we have q is equal to 45 minus 19. So to make that a statement, statement true, I know that Q is going to have to equal 26. So to put it back into the equation, if I do 45 minus 19, I get the answer of 26 to make that statement true. So substituting in to find the value of the variable to solve the equation. And that's it. So good luck with your practice and make a difference.